One. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome. It is indeed Toku Hero time. Uh, you can order us in a super size if you'd like. My name is Jack. I'm Enigma. All right, my friends. How are we doing today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing. We existing. We vibing. Yeah. Mm. Um, might as, well, might as well get this out of way. Uh, recently, Steve Harwell uh, originally announced that hot has hospitalized, but re but today died from a liver fa liver failure. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, what do I say? It's not related to this show at all, but we would be remiss not to mention it. I'm trying to like I don't know. Re re give some respect to the All Star, you know. Yeah. Um, also, on kind of a similar note, uh, something I just saw, uh, Peter Spellos, aka the voice of uh, Skybite from R.I.D. Uh, 2001, is currently battling cancer, apparently. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Stage 3 uh, pancreatic cancer, specifically. Well, I hope he, I hope he, worked, he beats it. Which, uh, there is a uh, GoFundMe for it. Uh I'll need to remember to link that um, in the description of this episode. Yeah. So, go donate to that, my friends. Yes. All we right. We'll probably provide a link to that later. Yeah, yeah. I'll, put, I'll put it in the uh, description. I just got to remember to do that. Yeah, I'll remind so, you later. Less depressing news. Let's get started with... Transformers. Sure, why not? Uh, All right. Uh, apparently, at least for the Earth Spark Deluxes, we are going back to Takara having regional dif differences between our figures. I thought we moved past this, but apparently not. Is it a bad thing, or...? Uh, the Japanese figures have more paint, cost a bit more, and lack the build-a-figure parts. So it's basically we're back to, um, like, the Takara Legends days for, of... 2013 to 2017. Lovely. Is that a good or bad thing? I guess it depends on your opinion. It yeah, depends on know. how you uh, like to collect your figures. Do you like the uh, more detailed art? Well, you're gonna be sp you're gonna be spending a lot more money. Oy. Tragic. And also, just screw you if you want the Doctor Mandroid build a figure. I guess. That too. Yikes. Uh, the only one that looks like a genuine improvement to me is uh, Grimlock, mostly just because they turned his yellow to actual metallic gold, but that's about, that's about it. I think the Earthspark figures, okay. Yeah, it's currently just the Earthspark figures for now, but I know Takara, and this will probably spread elsewhere. Yeah, okay. Uh, funny thing is, uh, Aaron Archer has apparently been making, uh, what's called Transformers Instructions art. Uh... And right now, this image I'm looking at has the, uh, whatever that team was, uh, from R.I.D. Uh, that made, uh, fucking hell, uh, what was the name of those guys? Yeah, like, you have the image on hand? You can show it to us. Yeah, hold on. Uh, hold up. Yeah, I think a while back it was, no, it was told that some of these guys are actually based on the cyber... Well, well, here I'll just send you the link for the uh, website here. Hold on. Yeah, the um, the uh, Shockwave figure is basically just a straight redeco, while the um, Optimus, Bumblebee, and Grimlock figures share engineering. I see. Okay. Let's see here. Our Aaron Archer construction art. Oh, okay. I see. So he's just he just like drawing over the instruction manuals. Yep. Yep. Not that bad. Uh, I like whatever someone... this train. I like whatever this train guy is. Yeah. The train guy. Yeah, there's like a train guy in the link. Uh. I'm looking at the entire gallery here, not uh, just the uh, the junk people here. I'm trying to remember his train. name. It's oh, the Rail uh, Racer. Rail Racer, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. cool. 
I, I can't rem can remember his name. Yeah. Also, nice inclusion of sideways as well. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it does look like a lot of, uh, like, deep cut characters being drawn here. Not There's bad. There's a couple of them. Yeah. Uh, in terms of deep cuts, uh, some of these I don't even recognize, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm not sure who the guy next to a Mirage is here or the one next to that. Uh, oh, that's uh, that's um, Energon Signal Flare. Oh, uh, okay. I see. Uh, everybody yeah. else, uh, I I do know. I just don't re remember the I just don't remember the names of the guys from RID01. Uh, mostly just Beast Wars characters and cosplay. I see, I see. Not bad. Yeah. No, I would actually be down to buy some of these if they were being sold locally. Oh yeah, definitely. That would be cool. Yeah. In other yeah, news, in other news, apparently Rise of the Beast is the lowest earning live action Transformers film to date. Shame. What about hap what about happened there? Um, I uh, saw a thing about it. Um, apparently some of the factors. Uh, it could be just the quality of the movie, franchise fatigue, which is like, it, it's not like a Marvel movie where we're getting one like every few months, and a release timing. I think franchise fatigue is kind of weird because it's like we only get one every couple of years and it's not even like a set window of time. Yeah, I think it's, I think the timing has something to it because uh, this release with Spider-Verse, like around uh, the same time, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that it came out uh, either the same day or around the same time as another popular movie. I just didn't remember what it released next to. I, mean, I saw, I saw those two within, within a few days of each other, so probably would. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Across took all the attention there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the only time we've already gotten, like, back to back releases for Transformers movies was once because there's only about a year difference between um, The Last Night and Bumblebee. That's the only time that's ever happened. Yeah, I think everyone uh, previously was like a two or three year uh, span. Yeah, because it was like two years for Revenge of the Fallen after um, after the first movie, and then two years for Dark of the Moon, and then three years for Age of Extinction, then three for TLK, then one for Moldy, and now uh, um, five for Rise of the Beast. <laughs> Okay. Well, I hope the, this new trilogy, this new saga movie, continues to live on. Yeah. The, really, the Bumblebee saga. I would really doubt that it's franchise fatigue because Bumblebee got very good reviews. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. It's most likely the timing. Yeah. But yeah, better luck next time. Make sure you coordinate yeah. your schedule better. Uh, also, we have some uh, variant covers for the uh, Skybound comic. There you go. We got the one we were, we were most familiar with. The I think we did was previewed a while back when they were still revealing characters and the whole information was still new. I like this cover where Optimus just just fucking kills Starscream. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm honestly curious why Megatron isn't here yet. I just figure he, I'm only, I'm assuming that they're saving him for like a big play, a big event thing. Uh, I'm wondering if it's gonna be sort of like early IDW where it took a few issues before we saw Megatron. Maybe it just looks like it just looks like to be just like a Santa Rose gallery of ran, rando uh, Decepticons being led by Starscream here. Also, there's just one cover well, that just says I mean, spoiler. You Two out of four. I mean, yeah, it's a spoiler. The comic contains issues. It contains, contains spoilers for the comic, obviously. Must Indeed. Be the, must contain the secret Megatron. Whoa. Even worse, the, the Krabby Patty secret formula. Who knows? Yeah, hopefully we get to see that later. I'll... I'll... Mm. But yeah, once this, like, comic official it comes out, I'll, I'll take a crack at it. I'll read it. Yeah, Looks hopefully. nice. I am uh, apparently, there's like Bungle Bros on Amazon exclusive in the cell here. 
Actually, it's not fungal growth. It's just a um, mold release agent that they Hello? use to remove the uh, remove the plastic from the uh, injection mold. But for some reason, it just got really fucked up this time. <laughs> yeah, it's very weird. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, yeah, it, it, especially the Starstream version, you gotta look out. You gotta watch out. According to the people that uh, have received theirs, it comes off with um, wet wipes or just a water, uh, a little bit of water and a Q-tip. So thankfully, you can easily fix this if this happens to yours. Better watch out, Jack. Yep. Mm. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh... Yeah. What else do we got? Uh... Oh. It says in the doc that there's, like, a mirage. Like, Rise of the Beast mirage. Oh, like, right. Yeah. Of Do you think it's just for that? Uh... Seems to be okay, yeah. except for the weird, um, variable shoulders thing. Yeah, I like the images, so again, like, look at this. Uh, these shoulders. I thought I posted them in the doc, but apparently I'm not. Nope. No, no you didn't. Maybe next okay. time. Uh, basically you can either have the shoulders high up, and broad or lower and sunken in. And to be honest, neither one of them really looks good. Oof. Wacky. Uh, yeah. Um, we already talked about this. <laughs> I think I just didn't forget to. I think I just forgot to remove it. Oh, we did. We already talk about Mirage. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Oops. I think we did talk about Mirage. Never mind. Forget Oof. everything I just said. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. That works. Die, Mirage. <laughs> Bye. Uh, let's move on. I think that's it for Transformers, Wait. right? Before we, before we move on, this is a third-party figure, and we don't normally talk about third-party figures, but I absolutely have to show you to this. What is it? Yeah, okay, go. Oh, my lord. Oh, or. Uh, yes, the mighty Destroy Planet Orb. Oh. <laughs> destroy Planet. I believe this exists. And someone's actually yeah, making this. Yes, um, Magic Square. <laughs> yes. Megatron's younger brother. Yeah, it's supposed to represent um, Grand Galvatron, which is just like... It's kind of like the, the Transformers equivalent of uh, Cyclone Axel Extreme in that it only appeared in like a vision for like three seconds. But it's so funny that everybody wants it. I can't believe becoming an orb is the highest form of evolution for a Transformers to become. Actually, just canonically, that that orb armor is just like made from the corpses of the other Decepticons for some reason. Which is probably the weirdest, well, not the weirdest thing in Transformers lore, but it's up there. It's definitely unhinged. That smells yeah. fuck. Not sure why they felt the need to give him an alt mode because this basically just makes him into a Baku gun. <laughs> he he literally is. Honestly, what I'm expecting is just like. Just becoming a, a planet cannon. It uh, it honestly looks like someone just took the head, arms, and legs off off a uh, kingdom uh, Galvatron and just glued it onto a ball. I'm assuming the transformation is basically just you open the ball and then fold it in and close it back up. Like it can't be anything more than that. But like, it, it, it's probably exactly that. Great, uh, you look really punchable. Just kick him like yeah. a football. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, by the way, this is Legends scale, which kind of defeats the entire purpose of this being Unicron, but okay. That is weird. Oh well. Anyway, all right, Common Rider time, and it is that time of year. We have the new Common Rider Gotchard Episode One has is out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, thoughts. Pretty neat. Um, yeah, pretty good. My initial thoughts is that uh, I do find it interesting that the main character is like, oh, I have no dreams. I don't know what to do with my life. Meanwhile, Relatable. the secondary character, the, the girl, you know, she's just like, I have no dream because it's already set for me. Blah, 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 blah. I, hopefully, I hope that dynamic works out well. 
instead of her being shafted later. That's why they may know. Other than that, that was a good action, good episode. Yeah, had really good action. Uh, I, uh, so far, I'm liking um, our new main guy. He's just kind of chill. Just basically just gets roped into everything. Yeah, Hotaro is a is a big I nerd. I love I love how he just gets to drive. The old man just gets the driver, and he's just like, oh, okay. I feel like he just t he took it because like, well, I have no dream. This is basically a dream come true for a younger me. I'll do it. Yeah. He's just like, well, I'm here anyway. Might as well. Very hope of not necessarily in God Tribe, but we just get. At some point, a writer that just really does not want to be a common writer. Probably Alvarad, but we'll see. Just, just like, okay, I guess. If uh, no one else I had nothing better to do book. today. If, if just, no one else can do it. Imagining like he like flips the belt and then just the most fucking unenthusiastic machine. It just like. Uh, can you imagine just like this really out of top, out of the way belt, just like, uh, like the bus driver, <laughs> but then bus like, just, <laughs> yeah, it's just like the bus driver is just like loading, blah, blah, blah. And then just the guy just like, and it seems, and it just like transforms with this like over the top belt with this, this under, this, his energy is too low for this belt. He's not there. <laughs> Literally the most over top thing you can imagine, even more over the top than Oma GL and just this deadpan dude. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate. Piranosaurus. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I thought it was. It, this is kind of just a thing with the most common writer seasons. At least a lot of the um, Heisei 2 and Riwa well. seasons that they have like a. The first episode is always, like, very fast-paced, and I'm not necessarily always on board with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I will admit well, I, it's left me with more questions than answers, because I'm not sure what the fuck is going on. And, of, cor think, of course, I assume it's gonna be it's going to be explained next episode, but still. I think that was the whole point. Like, okay, I gotta get why they're fast-paced. It's just, like, they want to get to the point really quick and just, like, go on with the rest of the show. I get it. It was like, you know, you could take your time to, like, build up your world a little bit, you know? Yeah. Just, like, I, have, like, a two-quarter episode. As much as I don't like uh, Kuga's pacing, the first episode was better than this in terms of pacing. Oh, yeah, because, uh, well, it was a two-parter type deal. So it's like, the first episode was just, like, to build up, oh, there's this mystery, here is Kuga prototype, and the second episode is just like, okay, here's the real transformation. Kachibana song. Look at my transformation. And just like this burning church transformation. And just like, hell yeah. But, anyway, uh, uh it, I mean, it makes sense in this because it's the dude's literally just thrown into everything. So it would make sense that everything around him is fast paced. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Meanwhile, the secret society of alchemists is just being like Hurricane. It's just like, they have like this method to like memory wipe all these people and just like, Ah, uh, you can't know the secret world. Man just brought out the Men in Black uh, memory wiper. Yeah, I think uh, what was it called? Phaser? Black? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, I think they were just called it a neuralizer or something like that. I think yeah, that's that sounds more accurate. Anyway, let's. let's and we got like some. some By the way, with, I wish what? I could have one of those for myself. I wouldn't even wipe other people's memories, just my own. <laughs> oh. Well, hopefully you won't give yourself mental damage. Where are you? What? Good, it worked. Yeah, goddamn. Well, okay, let's just start with the Archer news. First off, uh, apparently there's going to be a, some special edition cards, some metallic cards of a uh, Steam Liner and a, a Gumbarite card for the Gotchard himself. Yes. I don't know how you're going to get it, but you ch check out Gamba Lands. That's going to be like a whole event thing. Have fun. Uh, yeah. I really wish they would stop doing foils if they're just going to do card stock cards. Yeah, I think that's like the main weird thing I keep hearing about the Godric toys. It's just like, okay, most of these cards are card stock, 
But with these other toys, like the, uh, what was the Kemi toys? They're like, they're yeah, plastic, the, um, just due to like how the, it works. Um, Steam Train and Hopper 1, which come with plastic versions of the retail cards that you can get in the cardstock form. Because yep. you push the cards into the top of the figure, and if you did that with a cardstock card, it would just obliterate the card after like a couple of times. Yep. But I yeah. made this in plastic. And it's like, okay, so you're clearly capable of making them in plastic, so why would you not just... I imagine, you not... They're... I imagine they're being eco-friendly. But it's not... I'm not going to throw the cards away. I don't know, maybe it's like cost a lot of pollution to make the plastics. Then again, the belt. But this guy's my man. Everything they make is plastic. What are you talking about? <laughs> I just like I'm trying to like reason it out. Also, uh, on the note of the first episode of Godchard, apparently that episode was released on the official Toei YouTube, the, the official Bandai YouTube. But and then soon, a but soon after they region locked the video, so actually that's the weird thing. It didn't get region locked. YouTube blocked it. YouTube themselves blocked it in everywhere but Southeast Asia. So it, that part, that part was not Toei's doing. So I was just kind of confused. That that just makes it weirder. Yeah, it does. I've heard of things happening like that before, where it's where they, someone uploads their own material and then YouTube is like, "This is copyright infringement." Yeah, you're copywriting yourself, idiot. E Give me that. Even video. though we're even though we're the creators. I've already seen people, this is not YouTube to be fair, I've already seen uh, musical artists play their own songs on Twitch streams, and then Twitch is like, you stole this song. Actually, that's a, the song. Actually, that's a, I actually heard something interesting about like celebrity photos. Like, Apparently some celebrities don't hold the copyright of their image. Like they can't they post it not. on, like some, yeah, some of them can't, don't hold that copyright. No, so it, it's copyright owned by the strike. agency. Yeah, that. They, they yeah. themselves, the, you know, the first people, don't own the copyright for their face, so they get copyright strike for themselves. Yeah, know. and it's particularly bad in Japan about that. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. A lot of things seem particularly bad in Japan, to be honest. It, it's to a point for, um, if anybody watching this, if anybody knows the Yakuza series with uh, Judgment, like the main guy from that, there, it's to yeah. the point where... I think they had to spend a stupid amount of money to even get him on board and use his likeness. And, um, wow. and, uh, I even to pay the guy to convince him to come on just for him to be there. Yeah, damn. Yeah, and, um, there, there was a, like, a magazine that he appeared in, but, um, they had to actually remove his picture from it. Yikes. On, on that note of judgment, the main character for that for that video game sub series, he just uh -huh. looks like Koda, you know, from Gaim. Okay. Koda Kazuraba from Gaim. He just looks like that, the judgment guy. I, like, I I mean, mate. I mean, he. I guess he kind of looks like an older older version of him. I guess. Yeah. Hold on. I'll, I'll get the image. Hold on. Like I know, I know what you're talking about. I know, I know Mochi doesn't, but yeah. I just need to show Mochi. Yeah. I am. Uh... The dark, yeah. Yeah, hold on. Similar fashion statements too. Yeah, hold on. Just look at these two. See the emoji? Yeah, I can kind of see it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, the dude on the left just looks looks incredibly tired. I mean, kind of is if you ever played the game. Yeah, he's a detective, so who wouldn't? I still need to like complete Yakuza Zero. Mm, Goddamn. Good stuff. Anyway, yeah, let's move on. Uh, we uh, got we got a video uh, showcasing the Imagination Bell from Disney. Uh, this yep. is not Common Rider technically, but it basically is. <laughs> it it, oh, it it's what a driver, it? so I mean, kinda. Yeah. And yet, it is not a Kingdom Hearts reference, so I am very disappointed. Oh, wait. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna lie, when I first saw the leaks for this, and just heard Imagination Driver, I thought they were bringing Tokyo back. Imagination. That'd be funny. But it's like, nah, Disney and Toei Bandai just, like, decided 
wouldn't it be funny if we make a Disney belt and they did it, but they spent three hundred dollars on it? So, uh. no, it's worth three hundred dollars. Whatever. But yeah, it looks really snazzy. Um, so the keys that comes with is uh, the child from Mandalorian. Grogu. Uh, Tian. Well, spoilers. For like a three-year show. I mean, uh, I haven't. Anyway. Uh, Tiana from Princess and the Frogs. Uh, Iron Man, Simba, Woody, Snow White, Moana, Elsa, Moana. and Mickey and Minnie. I find it funny that Moana is a, is a male he- superhero guy here. Just saying. I just love that there's a driver that turns you into Iron Man. I mean, kind of Iron Man. And, but... and you know, Tony Stark would make something like that. I feel like he would. This is the kind of thing he would try to get banned. Actually. No, wait, this oh, yeah, is. Definitely. No, wait, this is something that Tony would think is stupid, but Peter would think is awesome and would try to do that himself. If only, honestly, I'm honestly surprised they didn't, they didn't go with Spider-Man. I mean, to be honest, Just a little was, bit. This is the kind of thing that Peter would approach him with, and he would go, "No, that's stupid, kid. Forget about it." And then it cuts to him just working twelve hours a night on it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, kid. I'm stealing your idea. And yeah, anyway, uh, the imagination belt itself looks cool. I'm not gonna buy it. It looks stupid expensive. It uh, be for, at three hundred sixty-five dollars, yeah. Yeah, nah. Yeah. I'm not you enough know? of a Disney. I'm not enough of a general Disney fan to go in on that. Neither am I. Uh, this just makes me think. You, you, you know, like those Disneyland people, just like those people that devoted to Disney, Disneyland. What are the chances Disney they just bounding. hear about this and just buy it? Disney bounding. Oh yeah, whatever. Those kinds of people. What What are the chances they hear about this and just go, yes, more cult items? Now, Disney. now, if the uh, video is to be believed, uh, this thing actually is a bit more advanced than most common rider drivers. So I mean, the price point can does kind of make a so little bit has, of sense. Yeah, kind of literally. Like a Kind of like a demon's driver situation where there's an entire screen, except there's a, this, this is a much more advanced screen. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it actually just shows you an entire MP4. Pretty much. Goddamn. Well, time to be alive. Oh, I, can, I can finally watch Shrek on my driver. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Honestly, just like you know how you know how the buckle driver exists. You know how like there was a like. GBA direct video cartridges, just like that's where I was going. In the Game Boy Band. That's where I was going oh, with yes. that, actually. It's just like Tiger Video now. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. I, I hope there's a way to hack it to where you, you can literally just play shows on the thing. Well, I assume... Oh, well, that'd be funny. It would. Oh, yeah. Imagination Belt. Too expensive for my blood. Looks hilarious. It's going to be hilarious when people review it. I know. I know it will be. I hope it is. Shark Tale is Pixar, Mochi. Don't care. <laughs> uh, did did I miss something? When did we start talking about Shark Tale? Mochi started it. Did I blink out or something? No, I just posted in the voice chat. That's why. No. Oh. No. Anyway, anyway we got like uh, the Comrider, some more Comrider Soto Chronicle figures. Uh, yeah, this time um... featuring Gotchard. Comrade Aqua and the, the other guy. Well, um, who was the other guy? Balvarad? Uh, yeah, Balvarad, but then also an updated re release of Taja Dole Combo. Oh, cool. Yeah. Here's, basically, the differences are anything that was stickers before has been replaced with actual paint applications, and uh, the translucent wings of the original are now. An opaque metallic red. The only thing that remained the same is the belt, which is still a sticker, or the um, belt strap specifically. Right. Not bad. Looks pretty yeah. nice. Also, this one includes an alternate um, belt sticker, so you can uh, either have the normal taco metal or the cracked taco metal. Anku. Yeah. Hell I should, yeah. I should really, I should really re- rewatch those at some point. Goddamn. You should. It's a good show. Yeah, it, it really is. is so. I'm honestly, honestly, just like to go on like a tangent, I'm trying to like download a torrent for Comrade DK. So for some reason, it's just taking forever to download. That's all. 
Anyway, Tajador looks pretty and what nasy. That's the so-called decade. I don't know. People, I I feel people watch that as a meme. Yeah. Uh, but um, oh yeah. Um, Tajador, the... blah blah blah. Uh, da da da. Got your Emmys. Soto is now split into um two waves for retail and premium Bandai. You're buying the same characters, but the premium Bandai versions have been uh, upgraded, feature more paint, uh, sometimes more accessories, and less stickers. That and does that cost more. Um, that just that just reminds me of the of the fact that the Zine, Hammer Geats boost Mach Two and then Laser Boost, those are premium Bandai. And they have too many. I mean, we brought it up before in a previous episode, but it's like that's just too many stickers. That's supposed to be premium well, Bandai. That, that this version is it has less stickers. You you cannot you have the choice between the cheaper retail version with stickers or the premium Bandai version with uh, minimal to no stickers. All right, all whatever. Well, um, all right. Biggest difference I'm seeing is with Valvered because if you buy the retail version, it's just clean. Looking, if you buy the premium Bandai version, it has like the painted um, rust on the white parts of the legs. Okay, well, uh, might as well just like get back to good gotchers. Uh, we're getting some like non, we gain more rider toys later. Uh, assume in the fall, we got some, we got some like figures, some toys based on the Kemi themselves, smartphone, copper one, steamliner, just like these cute little prop toys. I will die for the smartphone. I need that oh, yeah. phone too. Also, Franklin, yeah. I need that phone. Yes. Also, just like, just like ask, given the phones of Rewa so far, which one would you choose? Uh, mm -hmm. Progress phone, uh, Revise phone, Saber bike phone, or the other one? I forgot. Boy. The the clear answer is this new phone here. Yeah. Not. Nah, no, you. Well, it's a Revise phone. It's a gun. Now, boy. Now, nah, fair enough. He's a good boy. The the phone looks like a friend. Yeah. He is. Yeah, he is. Like, yeah, yeah, I get it. And yeah, the also, grass. Apparently this, apparently, this auto transforms when you put the card in, so that's kind of cool. Nice. Cool. And the grasshopper's uh, name is now Franklin. This is my new. This is gonna be. This is gonna be Toku Hero time lore here. Okay. Yeah, Franklin. Sure. Yeah, that, that lore is not going to be documented by any degree, but okay, have fun. It is documented yes. by us, and that's all that matters. Yes. Anyway, Hopper 1, he's a good little boy. Uh, we, I, got, yeah. we, we got stuff with B, Valvarad. I'm just clipping it because I don't want to like look for the images. Yeah, fair. Uh, I'm not sure why yeah. they started with Valvarad when we don't even have a gotcha chart. <laughs> True. We don't even have like the Valvarad toy yet, so hopefully that's... Oh. Yeah, hopefully that's gonna be soon. Um, also, we are getting uh, SH Figure Arts uh, for Geats for the uh, entry forms. Uh, yeah, I don't um, want. I don't. No, no, no. In no. case you want your your common writers peeled. <laughs> exactly. Honestly, the I honestly the stupid part with those H, SH Figure Arts uh, for Geats is that unlike the all of action figures. Obviously, I get it. It's like the point of the SH Figures was like, why include the entry point forms if you can't like mix and match? Here's the, the whole thing with that is like, I feel like they could have just made it like a more expensive release and then just be like, okay, you have one, uh, like just generic entry body, and then you can swap the ID cores in the head. Like, would that have been that hard? At least we still have Revolve Action. Keeper alternative keeps the gimmick. Um, uh, except, go on. Like I say, except for some reason they decided to stick with mostly soft plastic for the armor in that line, so no thank you. Yeah, uh, unfortunate, but what, whatever works for your comrade geek collecting needs. Um, and we also have a new trailer for the uh, new V Cinema. Oh uh, yeah, I think we, we, we I think we mentioned that. It was like it was the trailer for Explosion Rage Buffer. Oh yes, yes, you're right. Uh predictions for this vision animal. The Buffer's gonna die. Nodge won this. <laughs> Let's see. 
Um, I, I'm not too yeah. much into the V cinemas for Common Rider, so I don't know what like trends there are, so I can't really think of anything. It's not really a trend specifically, it's more just like new form, probably new bad guy. Those are the only two constants. New bad I'll guy that has something to do with the uh with the with the uh, main villain of the show and one of the people gets a new form. Yeah, kinda. And with the beat them in particular, we do know it's gonna go over like the Gamato, like what their deal is. So I'm just gonna imagine this, I don't, I honestly I can't think of it being more complicated than the desire Grand P future people they made them up just for like their own sick entertainment. Uh, apparently, Baroba comes back in the movie, and something weird about this description I'm reading is that there's a appearance of a strange new ace. Oh, yeah. that Yeah, that, apparently that golden ace thing was real. Yeah, it, yeah it's in the uh, trailer. Um, I assume it's probably just going to be a gold repaint of Geats 9. It's, it's honestly funny that... Okay, like, okay, Geats 1 this exists. But it's like it still uses the Mark Three slash Mark Nine buckle, so it just applies that. There's nothing stronger than Mark Nine at this point. Yeah. Unless the uh, Naruto form is more powerful. Maybe. Uh, da, 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 back to God Turk. Uh, we're getting like a card holder and a new weapon arrow thing. I don't know what's the point of this holder when you could just, like, buy a binder and some card sleeves. Well, especially when they're going to probably sell you a binder anyway. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, okay, so it's just like a nice-looking suitcase thing. Also, but... I'm not comfortable with this when the cards are made of card stock, because I feel like this is going to damage them. Yeah. Also, uh, just in general, this is just inefficient use of space. I also thought you are going you're talking about in context of the show, and I'm like, well, that's because Oz already did that. Just get, just get a binder. Just get a binder. If we, for people collecting the Godjard cards, just get a binder like a Yu-Gi-Oh, like a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Pokemon trading card collecting. Use the same tactic. Get some card sleeves. Yeah. Which reminds me, uh, I don't know if I talked about this before, but with uh, Godjard being a thing, we now have um, uh, Yuki Blade. Oh yeah. Decade Go Sager and Godjard. Which means we now have uh, five card themed Toei Tokusatsus, or the five pieces, if you will. Exactly. Actually, hold on. Okay, no, there's another one. Uh, Comrade Ultraman Orb. That one uses cards, too. Also, Decker. It's not, it's Ultraman not Orb. You said Shut Toei the fuck Tokusatsu. Up. Shut the fuck no. up. It's also Tokusatsu. Shut up. Ultraman Decker, it Ultraman Orb. Right. Right. You're involved. There's card users. Okay, <laughs> but I don't care. God damn it, Mochi. You stinker. So when I said my comment about the card sleeves, that made me just think of something. Do we do we know how big the cards are? What I'm saying is, are they about the size of Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I I have no idea. Direct, no. I'll, I'll, I'll the world have... isn't ready for that. Turn back. No, because if back. no, because I'll purposely get get the box of the Gachar of the Gachar cards and get uh, Magic Karibo, uh card sleeves for them. About me about to stick both blue eyes, white dragon, and pot of greed in the Gotcha driver. <laughs> exactly. Uh, honestly, in terms of like card writers, I'm just thinking of like oh. getting the, the the Neo Neo DN driver at some point. That'd be cool, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we got like this arrow weapon thing for Gotcha. We saw it with like skip Bushido skip boards. This is like, like the weirdest um, primary sidearm I've ever seen in quite a while. It, I mean, kind of. I like the whole gimmick is that the the, the little little slot where you put the cards in, it just kind of like spins around. So it's just like, okay, this is clearly got like arrow kinda blade thing. What is this? Reminds about? me of Chinkin Blue's bow. A bit. Oh yeah, oh, a little bit. I was also thinking like, well, not exactly. Uh, what what, what was it called? The Genesis arrow, Genesis yeah. bow from from a uh, comrade guy. Yeah, true. That too. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, interesting weapon. Gonna be me. Let's see. Yeah, Speaking uh, of weapons, we are getting like a CSM Vise Edge. 
as far as like the complete selection modification yeah. line. And it has an impressive 42 LEDs. Jeez. Well, yeah, that, yeah that, that's how like the toy where he's just like, oh, it's like a beam blade, like a lightsaber. Yeah. Uh, you can probably you could probably direct traffic with this with that many LEDs. Man oh, yeah, about definitely. to direct a plane to for takeoff. But yeah, as far as I know, this is gonna be as close as full length as you can get to the prop. Yeah. It also comes with like a little like little, little like five cell little thingy. Mission memory. Yeah, the mission memory. Yeah. Funky little thing. This thing is. Very. Yeah. But yeah, cool weapon, too expensive, do about it as you will. Bonk. Roulet bonk. Fair enough. Uh, on, a, on a similar note to CSM, uh, Gotchard is actually getting a high spec belt for the Gotchard driver. So this is like the oh. second time this happened. Already? <laughs> yeah, already. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like we got, the last time we got like a high spec belt was like recently with so I'm guessing this is gonna be become a tradition. I hope. Uh, it's I gonna hope be, it be honest with you. Oh yeah, you want to like wait for the CSM to like get it? No, I just don't want to be like, okay, I just bought the DX and then like fucking two weeks later they're like, just kidding, you have to buy the new one. Rip. Uh, well, it's not. It's not. It's just like the belt itself. Not. It doesn't include the driver. It's just like the belt straps. Yeah, that's better though. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's it's just the belt strap. Okay. You, don't worry about it. And anyway, they, they, better uh, not, we'll... they better not make us start buying like Gucci drivers. Gucci drivers? What the fuck are you talking about? If we're just focusing on the leather belt straps now, then good god. I mean, as far as I can tell, it's like Velcro. I don't know what this is. I don't know what the kind, of, what kind of fabric this is. It's just like Velcro with like a leather layer over it. Plastic yeah, it appears leather. to be nylon and Velcro from the looks. Oh of yeah, it. nylon. There we go. Anyway, yeah. If you want, if you don't want to like spend money on the CSM item, here's a high spec belt. Then again, you could just like customize the belt with like some leftover belt strap parts. But I could just, yeah, you could just use your normal belt to be honest. You could. Could. Honestly, depending on how, on how like the, the size are, you can like use like an old belt strap. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so speaking of high spec belts, we are, we have super best Zio coming apparently. Uh, Jiku driver. Uh, Zero two wide watch, Zio Trinity wide watch, and a set of four new ride watches for, uh, uh, uh revise. I mean, sorry, revise. Geats and Gotchard. Yep. For God speak for a second. Basically yeah, okay. for all the other uh Raywa characters. Yeah, so effectively Gotchard Zio is slowly becoming like Go Code Like for better and for worse. At the very least you only have to worry about one character at a time. Yeah. With the, with the exception of Reverie and Vice. It, yes, which uh like you like you said before we started recording, that w that should have just been like a redo of the uh, zero uh, Go two. Especially since they're already reproducing the Go two mold anyway. Actually, you know, like uh, the mirror Zio. Vice could have been like based on that actually. Maybe. Yeah, you know, like the whole point is like, oh, this is like mimicking zero Zio, even like in terms of, like placement in the belt. So that got a bit funny. Anyway, yeah, the the Ride watches. I hope there's no special that ties in ties this together. I, I don't want. I, I don't want. I don't want. To. I, I mean, if we want to do like oh. a five year later for uh, Geo. Five, five years, years later. later. It's a little bit too soon. <laughs> I, I don't know how long it's been. It's been five years. Know. Okay. Has it been five years? Yeah. Just about. God fucking damn. <laughs> yeah. Time flies. Fear, pain. Yeah. Uh, Yikes. Anyway. That means uh, I've officially one... been watching Common Rider for like six years now. Yeah. Although, about... one last... 
one last thing about Godchurd. I don't know what this thing is called, but it, this is basically to like get to like summon Kemi. As it's far as totally I understand not, it, it's totally not the ride visor from Yuki. We promise. Yep. Promise. No, it just summons the Kemis and makes some sounds. And the blah, 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 blah. yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm anyway, that's <laughs> Memento Mori. Anyway. Uh, da -da 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 um. Okay, and one last thing for like cover. I don't know. I'm not even sure if this is new, but at some point, Mochi, you posted like a like a tweet about like the Kamen Rider mock and Kamen Rider Chaser rings. <laughs> what? I, I'm not even sure if this is like new. Hold on. Are you? I don't remember what you're talking about. This. Oh yes, yeah, this is new. Like, this is new. Uh yeah, so uh, for you Tokusatsu Weddingbergs out there, here's an option for the wedding ring. Not sure why they chose Mock and Chaser specifically, but do you, you not know the gimmick of these rings? They, they yeah, specifically I know, I know chose the, gimmick of the rings. I'm just saying it's kind of like a random time to just do that all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, timing. Yeah, well, yeah, but it's like I don't know, better now than late than never. I suppose so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's another line of wedding of the Tokusatsu wedding rings, along with Sonoi Momotaro and Sonoi Momotaro and Crosby and Bill. Yeah, I thought you were talking about like wizard rings. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, anyway, I think that that's it sense. for. Oh, yeah, no, I think that's but, it for Kamen Rider. I have to talk about. Um... Common Rider Aqua is getting a Soto for some reason. All of a sudden. Yeah, we. I think we. Uh, yeah, I mentioned that earlier. So, Barely, they if never. Rider Aqua fan, so hey, Games, finally something. We are very, very close to completing Soto Chronicles Zio. We, d I mean, uh, O's. Uh, we just need um, uh, the Kangaroo body and lower body, uh, Common uh, Rider Poseidon, the Ride Vendor, and then Aqua's uh, Aqua's Peter. Clearly, they are too scared of the kangaroo form to produce it. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I thought they were gonna, like, just kind of bundle all the kangaroo parts together. Like, you do both kangaroo parts and then the um, purple-eyed version of the uh, Taka head, but apparently the Taka head already exists. So they yeah. are very scared of the kangaroo form. Indeed. Yeah, they are. Anyway, might as well go move on to Power Rangers real quick. Uh, apparently it was yeah. an actual Power Rangers Day uh, a few days ago. Woo! Along with, it was also uh, JDF, Jason David Frank's birthday. Uh, yes. Which makes the next part very fitting, uh, because we have reveals of the Whitening Collection Master Morpher. Yay. Oh, nice. Yeah, comes with Ronnie. all the medals that Tommy used in his tenure. So, yeah. you know, Brachio, Theo, Turbo... White Tiger, Ninja, Dragon. Come yeah. with voice, come with voice lines. Pretty great. Diecast coin. I actually do kind of want that. Same. Apparently, according somebody already found some samples and put them on eBay for sixty dollars a piece. So I'm kind of impressed with that price. To be honest, I was not expecting that. <laughs> yeah, I honestly expected it to be higher. Yeah, and uh, apparently the golden parts of the morph were actually chromed instead of just being metallic plastic, which is yeah, so yeah, yeah. unexpected move. Yeah, they're die cast. Not yep. bad. Not bad, Lightning so Collection. Not just, bad. It's basically just like the um, Bandai Legacy Morphers from about like seven or eight years ago. Yeah. Much. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Not um, bad at all. The thing that I think is kind of weird about it is the box. Why? Just, I don't know. Because, like, given what the Master Morph represents, I was kind of expecting, like, them to at least put clip art of all his ranger forms, but it's just JDF holding it. Yeah. It's kind of weird. I hope that White Tiger movie comes out soon. I keep, forgetting, yeah. I, keep, I keep forgetting that that movie exists. Or will be. Yeah. Anyway, anyway I think... Is there any other Power Ranger stuff? I don't know. Also, just one thing I thought was kind of weird. The, um... This, this uses this, a similar mold to the previous Lightning Collection Morphers. Those Morphers mm -hmm. all came with a stand that held four coins. So you could put four on the stand and one on the Morpher. 
this comes with six coins, but they don't seem to have updated the stand to allow for five at a time, which kind of sucks. But uh, I mean, kind of looks like it, but not properly. I guess you properly. can just ditch Falcon. I guess. I don't know. Forgive Turbo t to TJ as it rightfully belongs. <laughs> True. That power is on loan from TJ. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's it for Power Rangers. It's about, yep. Um, uh, now on to Super Sentai. Baby. King Oger and the uh, last episode of this arc. What we think? Is it right? Take a break here, real quick. I have to go uh, do something, real quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, break time. Be right back. All right. Welcome back. Hello. Uh, just what, was gone, was fighting to finish, so now we're back. Uh, anyway, King Oger, how do you guys feel about episode 26? No context. <laughs> just say it with no context. Uh, Popeye just came to his house and tried to kick his ass. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, anyway, King Oger episode 26. What do you guys think of episode 26 in the first half of, of King Oger in general? Honestly. Thoughts? Thought the time skip thing was weird at first. Actually, I'm kind of okay with it, like just ending and then pausing and then restarting again. I'm okay with that idea. Since yeah. going forward. Yeah. Personally, I think it's like, oh, okay. I like how this kind of feels like a season one, season two thing, where mm -hmm. it's just like, okay, if you want to like take a break, the the first 26 episodes, here's a good solid story with a solid conclusion. Have fun, and then next time you can get yourself fresh. At the they very wanna... least, it's not a, another clip show. Oh yeah, want to really scare people? They could register a, a second trademark for the second half of the show and call it Super King Oder. Oh God! Yeah, imagine, imagine that. Uh, I think this. I think the idea of that is gonna be a weird, positive thing, Loki. Where it's like, okay, it's like, given how King Oder set up, you can either like start at the very beginning or just start midway. Like you don't you like you don't know how people got to this point, but it's like you could start here maybe in the middle. Like after like episode twenty seven, you could like start from there, maybe. But but yeah, the actual episode itself, uh, yeah, pretty good. I like uh, that Jeremy is now the sixth king officially. Yeah, I honestly like the honestly with the latest set up so I really like how Death Narok was a present menace. Like I mean even before like the last few bit of episodes before episode twenty seven, he's been a present threat ever since like the beginning more or less. And it just shows that he's not as lazy as the other villain big bad. I like it. Not bad. But yeah, episode 27 in general is like, oh, it was really good, I say. Good capper for Death in the Rock. Good, just, it's just like a good, good thing with ending. Even with like, the gear, I like, I like how he, how that, how he ended up. What were you going to say, Moji? I was just going to say, King Gojo has just been a really good season all around, to be honest. Oh, it, oh yeah, it has. Definitely. Like, especially with Gira, because like, for like the past few seasons, we've been getting like this crackhead red fellow. Like, okay, to be fair, Momotor was really good in a crackhead sort of way. But, like, with Gira specifically, he's not exactly a crackhead, but he also isn't annoying. So, it's just, like, he's just this, like, nice guy who pretends to be a crackhead. And yep. I'm... It, that's just, like, unique after, like, this like this swarm of crackheads. So, it's just, like, oh, this vibe. This is good. This is different. He's just, like, a normal nice guy. Who pretends to be a crackhead? And honestly, the last bit, the last episode, it's it, it just like him, just like once, like end, end the cycle of violence with the Bagnarok humans. It's just like you are the guy, you are him, you are I him. Like this, I like this guy. Yeah. Okay, not to ruin the positive vibes of Wolfoni, but when you said you're the guy, all, all I could think of was Spy Kids Three. Oh God. Elijah Wood. I mean. I mean, I mean, you're not wrong. 
I'm, uh, but instead of like dying immediately as Elijah would, we get with <laughs> is, is Spike Kids three technically a Tokusatsu? Uh, I'm really, really CGI focused so Tokusatsu, but sure. I will end you. First Tokusatsu nowadays. Uh, we'll see. Maybe live action One Piece is a Tokusatsu. Were you gonna say? That? I'll end you too. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, we'll we'll start. Sorry if you can hear my dog. It's all good. Oh, Hazel. Hi, Hazel. Hazel. <coughs> Jesus Christ, that was a dead sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Gazuntai. Nuclear. Bless you. Anyway, we'll start to like watch King Ojo episode twenty-seven. We'll get ready for that next week. But for now, uh, we got like a more specifics on like how. Your Ruger is going to tie in for for the second half of King Ojer. Yes, we have reels um, for um, the King Gaburu Caliber, King Kuagata Dudenshi, and the form itself, um, King Kyoryu Red. Yeah. Um, these all look pretty good, to be honest. Um, yeah. I do wish the sword had some more had some yellow on it, just to break it up a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe on the blade itself, just like a yellow blade. That that'd be mm -hmm. nice, I think. Gaburu. Mm -hmm. hey, Anyway, uh, I'm I'm curious if this if this version of the sword is compatible with the with the previous Gabari Alpha revolvers. That'd Probably. be interesting. Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised that there's no like updated Gabari revolver, just like the sword. Oh, well, that seems to be happening. Oh, uh, at Nar Narakiri World, they in the um poster for all the things that they're doing, there was just um. It inserted the image of a Gabba revolver. Oh, interesting. So I guess that's coming eventually. Okay, interesting. Because uh, I think I saw a post somewhere where it's like this guy's thinking, like, oh, maybe I should like pair the Giga Gabarincho revolver with this sword. Because, like, uh, they seem to be like the strongest version of their respective weapon. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, oh, this is going to be neat when this, whenever this releases. Uh, the the so the Soto figure for for Curio Red here. It looks pretty neat. I as far as I can tell, what? Okay. As far as I can tell, it's a redeco. Uh, here's my guess. It's gonna be a redeco of some of the Curio Red Samba. You know, Curio Red Carnival, like mm. the, you know, like the suit. But but changing the torso out with the King Red. Kuagata Ku Ku Ogre too, you know, yeah, like that's basically, that. that's, that's basically what happened. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully it'll been a little good. I'm curious how Kane's gonna get into uh, get onto QQ, the this planet of bugs. So that's gonna be interesting when it comes. King Ogre Shippuden. Uh, Look forward to it. Yep, yep. Oh, shit, yeah. what's that? Uh, uh, the paint on the paint on the legs on this figure is insane, by the way. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, definitely. Meanwhile, we got the new Gabutera. And along with Tori Kara and Tagochi. Yeah. Yeah, so. This is gonna be a more articulated figure of the original Gabutera figure. I assume there's not gonna be electronics on this thing. There's not. There's not, yeah, figures. But, Rip. like. But in exchange, it's gonna be compatible with the Shoe God. And how that's gonna happen is like basically it takes some of the leg parts and converts it to like an adapter for like the shoe god arms, like the uh it's gonna be basically arms. Essentially. So you can like plug in pap papillon, tombo, you know, tento, all that good stuff. And then in the legs you can like plug in Hachi and uh Kamakiri. That's how yeah. it's gonna work. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. If that's very Zord Builder. It almost looks like it almost seems like the the Dino Charge version. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, okay. I'm. It's gonna be really amusing when this when this toy gets officially released. It's gonna be really expensive, but you know probably the same price as the King Oja, you know the Mecha. But it's like 100... I, I just want to see. It's I just want a hundred dollars. Yeah. Hundred twenty five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Figures. I do. I just want to see people just take this figure and try to make a giant fuck up 
combination with it, like <laughs> God, God of Oger. Yes. Like, you know, like just like God Kuryujin. That'd be That's awesome. That's gonna be hilarious. That's gonna be hilarious. Gigant Kyuger. I mean, oh, God. God, 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 God Kyuger. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, I'm imagining my head and I I can't. Yeah. I really hope they bring back the the the, the voice actor for the Gobber Gobber Revolver just to make that jingle. That that'd could be, be hilarious. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, moving um, on, next... we got Sh uh, Shogakan Modeling Project Tetra Boy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, just gonna complete the set with Jet, with the Jetman Mecha. Uh, a lot. So we before that we got Jet Garuda, and we got the base Jetman Mecha. So, so now we're gonna complete. Seem, yeah. It does seem to be proof that they'll they're willing to go back and complete seasons if they haven't completed an SMP. So that's right. Yeah. Not nice. bad. Not bad at all. Uh. Also, we have SMP One Tiger from Dire Ranger. I uh, yo, you have an image for that. So known as the um, White Tiger Thunderlord. Uh, yeah, but yeah. an image. Thank you. Tell me. Just a black silhouette. But yeah, Oof. I can do that real quick. I got um, it. Unlike uh, SMP Dyrano, this one is. Uh, this one appears to be. Uh, premium Bandai, for some reason. Loki makes sense to go. Wait, no, there, there, there's an actual image of it. Never mind, I'm stupid. Oh, yeah. Hey, show it. Here we go. Uh, uh... Yes, there you go. Alright, let's see. Uh, Super Mini Plus One Tiger. Ooh. Not looking half bad. Yep. I honestly wasn't going to go in on the Die Ranger stuff, but just because of this, I might have to. Honestly, I think you didn't you like watch Die Ranger recently? Like a like a, like a while back, but you know. I was gonna say I've watched Die Ranger, but not recently. Uh, okay. Didn't. What? Right. I was just asking because like I don't know if you really like that season enough to like get this. I like the season, I just, I don't know. I wasn't feeling up for, like, another $100 model kit, is what I was saying. Uh, yeah, Moody. I, yeah, you got, like, the Gal Ranger stuff. Yeah, um, the only Gal Ranger stuff I need is, um, I need to get the, uh, Galleon and Gal Elephant set, and I need to source just the base Gal Lion figure for my Gal Knight, because I don't feel like buying another set just to get one Zord. Fair yeah, enough. that's fair. But yeah, SMP One Tiger looks like a really good mecha. It's like but a really special Gal version of the original DX toy. Really good, really good. And got and Gal God because I forgot it existed. <laughs> right. Yeah. But yeah, looks like a good figure. Uh, looks like he's gonna be coming around December, ish. Yep. Um. And then also, although we haven't gotten confirmed. It wasn't basically confirmation because it was in the silhouette. We also have SMP Daimugen coming eventually. Sweet. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes yeah, that makes sense. A giant turtle boy, also known as um, Tor the Shuttle Zord. Ah, that uh, was that was the name, huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else in terms of Super Sentai? Not that more. Uh, yes, we have uh, Shoto Super Neshi Ranger is also coming. Oh, nice. Oh, is there an image for that? Uh, there's a grayscale painted prototype, but I cannot find the image for it currently, unfortunately. I got it. Well, goddamn. Um, uh, I think we can like move on to Blazer now, or actually, hold on a second. Let me just make sure there's nothing. Okay. Um, I didn't say anything else on the uh, news page. Right. Yeah. Because I think we've gone over everything else uh, last week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Alright, Blazer. Thoughts? Alright, Ultraman. I thought this wait, was wait, a wait, night. Wait, 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 wait. We got one thing. No, oh, what? my. Black uh, Noon? 
Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, the, the actor for Rackley's Masato Yono actually threw the ceremonial pitch for the Saitama Sable Lions in Japan at the baseball game. And nice. they actually got um, some legacy Silver Rangers to go on the sidelines with them, which is kind of cool. Oh, yeah, I think I heard about <laughs> nice. that. Just like, oh, who I got to order? Yeah, go try Silver, Lupin Silver, Lupin X. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. And the, uh, what, 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 Torag? Trouble? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna like look at uh, it for like a quick minute. That's kind of cool for um, Sentai to just get mainstream recognition like this. Oh yeah, definitely. I think I, this just reminds me of the of like back when Zero was. He just like apparently he was like I think some kind of crossover. Basically, just Zero One himself just like going to like a baseball game and he just throwing the first pitch, mm -hmm. and that was just like. Yeah, that's funny. Nice. I remember uh, one time they actually did this with American football for Super Mega Force for some reason. Oh, like yeah. These, these weird posters of like the Go Kaiger helmets, but with like some armored barring around the front of them, and I was just like, just don't, please don't. That sounds yeah. very cringy. I, I honestly find it funny that the. Uh... Like, I think these the smaller tiger mascots just, like, look at Torable and just, like, look shook as he looks scared by him. Should be. I, I just thought that was funny. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's all we have in terms of Super Sentai, so now on to um, Ultraman. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Ultraman Blazer. I think it was, like, a nice two-parter episode. I liked it. It was... Yeah, it's, I liked it how it brought up the subject, like... Okay, it's gonna be like one of those episodes where it's just be like, oh, humanity is the real threat, right? But then Gento, the the main character, primary Ultraman, went like, okay, we need to like match this guy resolve. We need to be prepared to like actually kill him as a last as a last resort. No, no bullshit. And just that, uh, here's the real benefit of a thirty year old. Ooh. What do you think? But yeah, his bu and then his buddy just came in. I was like, "Hold on, let's negotiate," and I actually worked, kinda. I, to be fair, I thought it was like an actual good argument, other than like humanity, good, blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, actually, what what the fuck am I talking about? It didn't work. He had to shoot the bracelets off. I mean, okay, look, it technically worked because like the professor was like, "Wow, your argument was pretty good. I can't find any fault with that." But how this is gonna end is. Well, fate will decide. The the argument did work because like the a the convincing captain... argument, however your mother. Right. Yeah. A convincing like, argument, captain. but fuck you. Yeah, they, I think uh, if I remember correctly, the professor went like, "Humanity sucks. They're ruining nature," and I'll have it so that humanity will actually respect nature by you know instilling the fear of nature, something like like along those lines. And the vice captain mostly agrees with that. He, but he does bring up the point, well, if you're going to do this, you're also going to destroy other forms of nature, not just humans. You're going to destroy a lot of plants, uh, some other animals. You might even just kill other kaiju with this, like, massive range of blood thing. That's oh. hypocritical. So it's just like, eh, not bad. Um, small update to uh, Sentai, because I forgot something. Uh, oh. Uh... uh Bandai has put out uh, images in pre-order for a m muffin-themed plush poncho for um, her plush Rita. <laughs> I just think that's okay. hilarious. Okay. Here. I. That Here. sounds am that sounds amazing. Hold on, I gotta see this. That's amazing. Is. Oh, I kind of joked about her getting a muffin themed power up like last week, and then it just actually happened. <laughs> um, it is just cute. She's small. Small. He's small. Always, uh, Ultraman. And anyway, yeah, I say oh, it was a good episode. And yeah, nice it was action, pretty good. Always. Uh, I liked it's how really... I liked the uh, yeah. rainbow attack uh, Ultraman did. Oh yeah, it was like, called the Rainbow Slash, but in my head, I knew it had to be called. The rainbow light ring or whatever 
Because it's like, it's one of those attacks. Anyway, good episode. Good action. I have to wonder if these guys are catching on to Gento being actually Blazer. They'd have to at some point. Yeah, some point. I, I figured it would have happened this episode because he's just like, oh, my captain just came out, just came out of the mech and it's only Ultraman's here. Hum. Yeah. You, you got, you get, they have to like figure it out eventually, right? They're smart. Yeah. Could be keeping it a secret too. That's not, yeah, that happened before. And in terms of old, other Ultraman news, uh, just like, just like, you know, just announce it quick. If, tomorrow's gonna be the anniversary of Ultraman Gaia. September 5th. Here's a tweet. Nice. Yeah, it's got, tomorrow's gonna be the first episode, the anniversary of the first episode of Ultraman Gaia. September 5th. That's they, gonna also be have, they also have some um, figure reveals for, for Gaia. Figurized, figurized um, boys are and uh, yeah. uh, some Ultraman that I don't recognize and uh, another boys are. <laughs> I'll just let Enigma decipher these. Okay, first off, the SH Trigger Art. Oh, Figure Eyes. Okay, yeah, Blazar, this is Figure Eyes Blazar. He's gonna come come with the Chill Tonight Store, so I assume this is gonna be coming after the next two episodes. Possibly. After Argon, maybe? Yeah. I asked for these guys here. It's obviously. Oh, I see. Bas I think. Yeah, I think this is like a manga release for like all of okay. the Ultraman suits. Yeah, so it's just like it's just like a, another release for the manga. I think it's going. It looks like it's going to debut Leo Nastra as like the Ultraman suit, so that's going to be cool. So yeah, expect uh, that around the May twenty twenty. Oh wait, what? May twenty twenty. Also, I, uh, whatever. Never mind. Just have to talk about this because I find it funny. Uh, the Cleopatra Queer, Entertainment, which is the company that's making the Blu-ray and DVD releases of Shin Ultraman in Japan, has announced that they're making a third replacement disc for their for their um, uh, Shin Ultraman release because both previous releases have still got things wrong. Oof. But if you've already uh, signed up for the second replacement, you're not qualified for the third replacement. Apparently. Wow. Huh. And it's just right. like, okay, but why would I want? Why would I need the third replacement unless I was one of the people that got fucked over by the second replacement? What, what is the, what's the point Logic. of this? I have no idea. Uh, point is, an official company responsible for the trans for the subtitles has to do has is, is in a third try going to make it right. Meanwhile, a ragtag team of of Ultraman fans managed to like do it, do it better in one go. It's just like. I, mean, I, think while, just, I think this movie is just kind of cursed. Maybe sounds uh, like just, it. Just, just like you know, find your local band subgroup, see if they sub Ultra Shin Ultraman. Watch that. Yeah, like just I haven't even seen that. the movie yet. I'm just, I haven't even seen the movie. Yet. I'm just interested in all the weird shit that's happening surrounding the physical release. Like I've never seen something like this before. <laughs> if you want, we can like you know set up a watch party. Watch party set up like a good date. We can like watch Shin Ultraman. Okay. Hey. Hey. Also, according to a lot of these people, the second revision didn't even, like, change anything for some reason. Yikes. Barely anything. What are, what are uh, the chances is that, like, they confused the second version with the first version? At some point, p these people are just gonna end up with, like, ten discs of all the same movie. <laughs> Pretty much. Just slightly better in quality somewhere. Uh, uh, here is my Shen Ultraman collection. Here is a version one. It has terrible subtitles. Version two. The same as version one. In version three, it's slightly better. Version five, there's electric blue. <laughs> I'm just imagining some like physical media collector going like, "Oh, here's my Tokusatsu collection. Here's uh, here's Ultraman from uh, the 1960s up to the 2020s, and they've got all like the individual seasons. It's like 20% of the shelf. And then they're like, and here's my Shin Ultraman collection, and it's just the entire rest of the room. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright. Sure. Get your yeah, shit together. Funny. Uh let's see. Yeah. This this next post is just like uh just announcing the the rainbow halo attack. I assume it's gonna be based on the image, it's gonna be 
coming. He's gonna be coming with an ultra a ultra action figure soon. So, not bad. Not bad. And this, I and it's the ultra action figure. I assume the ultra the ult, the rainbow halo attack is gonna come with this one. So it's just like a cheaper version of the figure eyes. Also gonna come with the chill tonight sword, but just as it is opaque, uh, clear plastic piece peel. So that's gonna be uh, fun. And that's it in terms of Ultraman. Okay then. Uh, I guess that's I, it in general. Uh, then. uh um, one last thing though. Uh, I'm just gonna mention like some Godzilla stuff. Uh, basically okay. we got like a trailer for like the minus one movie. Oh, oh yeah, I heard about that. Do you guys watch it? I might watch it later, but uh, I'm gonna like you know set up a link for it. We can like watch it later on our own time. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Uh... So yeah, it, yeah. It looks as far as I understand, there's gonna be some returning, like in terms of, like the female lead, the same character, the same actor who played uh, the girl in the Shin Kamen Rider. She's the same actor. It's gonna be the female lead oh. in the Godzilla minus one. Okay. So that's, yeah, it's gonna be fun. But yeah, the trailer's there. Anyway, uh, apparently, uh, like a cup, like back in like August twenty eighth, uh, we, uh, the official new U.S. Godzilla store is now open. Uh, been open since August twenty eighth, as far as I understand. Pretty yeah. cool. I'm not there. And last thing to note, from Mundo News, Urban Aztec, whatever. Basically, there's gonna be like a vinyl figure of Ultra of Godzilla, burning variant. Pre-orders, well, it the pre-orders started like August 29th, but we're we're covering it now. And as far as I understand, it's gonna be worth 150 dollars. Nice. What USD. the? Fuck? Oh yeah. That, oh yeah. But you yeah. meant like okay, never mind. You meant like a vinyl, like a big scale vinyl figure. Never mind. I was picturing like a soft movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not like a stuff would be, no, this thing. Oh, I oh yeah, that. I saw that before. That looks pretty dope. I saw that before, but I was just like, what the fuck? $150 for, for Yeah, not like a, stuff. it's like a whole, like a whole ass vinyl figure. Yeah. It looks pretty thick. Yeah. Actually goes kind of hard, to be honest. Yeah, it does. It I actually does. do love that. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Not bad. But yeah, I think that's it. It for real this time. Nice. Right. Um. Anybody? Anybody else have anything to? Uh, just random shit, basically. Uh, I don't have anything. Uh, Memory of Heroes is so far an okay game. Okay. I I was given the Korean Chinese version, so I don't understand the plot at all. But for some reason, Dio is there. He's the big bad. He's the voice voice actor for the big bad. I don't know why he's there. I just assume Foundation X just got off its fat ass finally and decided to do evil. Yeah. He's there yeah. to uh, conquer the world. Yeah. I assume so. Well, well yeah, alright but... then. Uh, oh, wait. We have one more thing for Transformers, apparently. Uh, oh, yeah? Oh, we get breaking news or something? Uh, yeah, hold on a second. Uh, uh, let me get the Ooh. image. Uh, we have. It says potential weeks. But these basically are confirmed, confirmed weeks at this point for um, Beast Wars again, uh, Air Razor, and Inferno. Not bad. Because uh, reasons. Fair enough. Uh, basically, just high spec versions of. Uh, the Kingdom Deluxe and Legacy of Voyager Riggers, respectively. I think we basically know the drill at this point for these. Yep. I see. Yeah. Um, Just has so bear not colors. Really, not really to anything, but I, I kind of decided to just start rewatching Mighty Morphin recently. And oh, I don't, yeah. it's like, it's both better than I remember and like a lot weirder, weirder than I remember. <laughs> I assume it's like that weird 90s thing. Like, there's a weird 90s vibe where it's like, okay, it's kind of cool, but it's also kind of weird. I mean, yeah, it's definitely got that early 90s weirdness to it, and also just being Marty Morphin. Yep. Yeah. It's 
weird. I don't remember them being... I think I forgot how popular the first season was, because it basically was just, like, a sitcom more than a tokusatsu. Yeah, I think the Angry Video Game Nerd put it best by saying it's, like, it's like save the... Save, save, why do you, why you take it? Why you take Save by the Bell and Godzilla and merge them together? Pretty much. Basically. And, yeah. like, there is this one, like, like couple like this group of episodes where they're like building up to Kat replacing Kimberly and the whole deal with Kimberly leaving is that she's talking about like not having time to balance both her gymnastics career and being a ranger so Zordon basically just tells her I never meant for you to be taken away from your personal lives go pursue your dreams and then we only call you if it's absolutely necessary and then literally the next scene is her getting called in because there's two tangas in a park which is, which is yeah. basically like the Power Rangers equivalent of a Goomba. Pretty much. And weird just, way weird way to set up like a last hurrah, but okay. It's not necessarily her for like last episode, just the build up to that. I was just like Zordon has his priorities a little bit skewed more than I remember. I Zordon's like, a weird Zordon's a weirdo. I think you like, like told me about it, because like I think I think you told me that there was like a little string of episode where Tommy got con- mind controlled again by Rita, and, and all just... I thought was that Zordon did not think it would happen twice. Yeah, it's just like this weird, like couple of episodes where Kimberly just gets more and more fed up, and it's like I'm glad it stopped where this did because if we got like ten episodes of this, it would have eventually gotten to like Kimberly, we're out of milk, report to the command center immediately. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. there, um, yeah, there's that them. second string of episodes with Tommy getting mind controlled. And it's basic, basically just her controlling him to get into the command center. And Zordon's like, well, I don't know what we're gonna do. And then Tommy's like, what if you just gave me the sort of power and then that we, I could solve the problem myself? And I'm like, what's the sort of power that has never been brought up before? <laughs> that has it's never the... been brought up before since. The MacGuffin. <laughs> Yeah, and it's basically, he's basically just like, that's a great idea, Tommy. Also, how the hell did you know about that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it's that's just great. like, it's used, it's used once, and then it literally flies out of Tommy's hands and is never seen again for the rest of the show. I didn't even remember that it existed. Just wait, it'll appear in uh, Cosmic Fury. Can't <laughs> Yeah, like it just, it, it, like it's not even a, a plot important element. It just finally shows where it, where it landed. It like gets stabbed into the side of the ship. He just stabs the blue ranger. I don't well, know. one of them just oh, one of the rangers really? comes up, just comes back what? on the ship and is just like, "Hey, look at this cool sword I found." <laughs> also, check also check out check out this guy who I found. His name is Common Rider. Is his name is Masked Rider? <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Right. Now, can you fucking imagine if they like just ran into the Beetleborgs? Oh god. Why why are they in space? They're supposed to be comic book dorks. I don't know. Why are the dinosaur rangers in space? Because the, the That's a point. Up, That's a good point. Yeah. Uh yeah. Uh the whole reason, reason something this funny is because I watched like a two and a half hour breakdown of MMPR because it was like three in the morning and I couldn't get to sleep. Right. Uh yeah, and, th- and th- this is not related to anything, but, like, the the funniest out-of-context line in this video was, I hate that oh, they really just need to stop rep- replaying, they need to stop portraying Billy as the nerd. He's easily the biggest player on the team. There's, it... like, a string of episodes where... <laughs> was this Linkara by any chance? Yeah, no, it's not Linkara. It was, oh. um, Karn of the Waffle. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, yeah, just, I'm trying to read... out of context line was like Billy's not even the nerd anymore. He's got that Triceratops race. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's awesome. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> that uh, Triceratops yeah, race. Yeah, that it might have been just because it was so late at night, but that had me that had me howling for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's amazing. Lordy. Yeah. Um, not wrong though. Not wrong. Oh. Not wrong. Very, very much not wrong. Oh, I think I, I found I, it. I didn't, I didn't remember this like plot point being a recurring plot point, but there's this girl that Zach keeps trying to go out with, 
and then, like every time he attempts it, he just she just like dumps something on his head, and I'm just like, Why? Zach, okay. I don't remember him being this picked on in the show. Like he can do better. He like, probably could. Like, isn't like Zach supposed to be the cool one? Why is he being dunked on? I don't know. I don't remember him being bullied. But apparently. Whack. Oh yeah, I've seen this video. I think. No, 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 no! It's a continuation. It's a continuation of the original one. Watch it. It's hilarious. Ah, uh, check it out later. Yeah, you do that. Oh, I've seen this one. Ah. Yeah. The VA is actually kind of amazing. <laughs> he, if he just he's just good voice actor work. Straight up. I just love the I'll show you some cosmic fear part. <laughs> oh wait 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 it, is it it's the curator uh just going hog wild isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh oh I like, see I've seen those. Yeah, where he just goes like I'll show you the fear of the cosmos. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god. Uh, Twitter sucks, but it's also amazing sometimes. <laughs> yeah, hopefully hopefully it will revert back to the bird and not stop being an X. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I think I think that's about it, my friends. Uh any last thoughts? I should um, watch Come Red Rose at some point. We just rewatch it. Should. Yes. Also, yeah, should. I was standing in your bedroom and scream until you watch it. <laughs> yeah. He is already hiding in your walls. Just see the dinosaur and the bird just date. That'd be funny. I mean, worth it? Did I, did I miss something? No. I just want to see them do that. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, guess we're signing off. Yep. Jack. Mm -hmm. All right. Do it. Uh, I have been your host, Jack. Enigma. Oh, gee. And we will see you next time. Stay beautiful. Bye-bye.